Hey, welcome back. Let's learn how to smoothly change these icons using CSS3's transition property. This property makes hover changes transition smoothly. In other words, if you have a hover setting that changes the color of an element, the transition property could make that color change smoothly. Here's our initial settings on the left, and here's the hover settings on the right. We're changing the color when the selector is hovered over. On the left, you'll see the transition property. You have to define the properties that you want transition to apply to. In this case, we've only listed color. There is an all value you can use just in case you want all of the hover properties to transition smoothly. Now for the transition property, you actually have to use vendor prefixes to make sure that this will work with all browsers. Here's what those vendor prefixes look like. You have WebKit, Moz, O, and then the regular transition. The normal transition property should occur after all of those prefixed properties. Here's a table indicating what these prefixes apply to. The O simply applies to older browsers. Moz applies to Firefox. And WebKit applies to the Android browsers, Chrome, iOS browsers, and Safari. In the demo you're about to see, I'm only going to use the unprefixed transition property. Just keep in mind, in the real world, you need to use the vendor prefixes. Here are the icons. When we hover over the icons in the body, they change. There's a red background, they're blue, and then they're larger. That happens across all of these. If we add the CSS3 transition property, then it'll make this change smooth and not so abrupt. Let's go back to our code and add that. Here's our code. Let's add a faw selector because we want this to apply to every font awesome icon. Transition. Let's go with all and one second. And run. Here are the icons. Let's hover over the user icon. And it transitions smoothly. Let's look at the others. Here's that the user icon, and the cart. Let's take a look at the icons in the header. Hover over the magnifying glass, and it's also a smooth transition. It actually looks like they're lighting up. It's a really neat effect. Now let's change the hover setting to something more visually pleasing. Let's go back to our code. Let's go down to our hover setting, and the font size, let's change that to 110. The color will be hashtag 000, which is black, and the background color will be hashtag DDD. Let's run it and see what it looks like. Here are the icons again. Let's take a look at the user's icon. And that's much better. Let's look at the chat and the cart. That's not too bad. Let's increase the duration to two seconds so it's more of a subtle change. Go back up to the transition property, type in 2, and run. Let's hover over the user's icon, and the cart, and the chat. And that's not too bad, but still not what I'm looking for. Let's go back to the code. Let's change this back to one second. Let's go to the hover. Let's remove this font size property, and then run. Here are the icons. Let's hover over the chat icon. Yeah, that's a nice transition. Users, same thing. The cart, yes, this is what we're looking for. It's subtle and it's a really nice effect. Now let's make sure these header icons retain the original transition effect. Beautiful. Very good. All right. I hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next lecture.